situation in Ukraine continues to escalate, and it's actually hitting home for many here in Metro Detroit. There are more than 20,000 people in our area alone who proudly claim Ukrainian ancestry. Many of them immigrated to the U.S. for freedom and democracy, and now they're watching the events in Europe in horror and sadness, and they share their concerns about relatives that are still overseas with our Paula Tutman. 30 years ago, the map literally changed. There used to be a country called the USSR, and suddenly it was called Russia. Ukraine was one of those territories that became its own nation, and Ukrainians will tell you that is when the culture and the core of who they really were began to flourish. This concert is by the Ukrainian Bandura's Chorus of North America. The instrument, the 60-stringed Bandura, sacred to Ukrainians. The story this music is telling is the Bandura becomes a powerful gray eagle that has the strength and the wings to fly to Ukraine and seek the freedom found in the wide open fields. The importance of this music on this day is once upon a time, this rich culture had to be hidden because once upon a time, Ukraine was part of an aged old map called the USSR or the Soviet Union. During the communist times, the religion, uh, whether it was in Ukraine or Russia, uh, was controlled by the Soviet we get elements in Moscow. In 1991, with the dissolution of the Soviet Union, the Ukrainian SSR became the sovereign independent nation of Ukraine. The vibrant culture came alive, and for the past three decades, this massive landmass and its people have been struggling through the messy business of democracy. It was, you know, jubilation, not just in our family, but the entire Ukrainian uh, diaspora community around the world. They started to understand that they were free. They were free from Moscow, they were free from Russia, and they could choose their own path in life. Born in Detroit, Anatoly Murha and his wife and his father and his mother have family and friends still in Ukraine. He was there just before the pandemic struck. I've seen how Ukraine has evolved and how people on the streets are really living life. I mean, People are laughing. People were enjoying themselves. People were enjoying economic prosperity. No one wants to no one wants to lose that human right. And that is my biggest concern for my friends, my family, and the entire country of Ukraine. So as Vladimir Putin's Russia lines the border with 100,000 troops and clears the embassy. Yeah, the deepest con concern, obviously, is the potential of an invasion and the ruination of uh, the Ukrainian culture. That's why we have to stand, we as a community, as, as, as humans, right? This isn't just Ukrainian Americans, but we, we have to stand against any attempt to force Ukraine to cede any control of its territory. Paula Tutman, Local 4. Paula, thank you.